Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today, Apple has finally released iOS 8.4 and in turn, Apple Music to the public, but how does the new firmware affect jailbreaking? <laughs> All right, and to start off, for those of you who just prefer quick updates as of recording this video, no, iOS 8.4 cannot be jailbroken. However, that could change really at any minute. So if you're watching this video at a later point, then just be sure to look for an on-screen annotation. If and when a new jailbreak is made available, I will place it there. So ensure that you watch this video on the desktop version of YouTube. Also, if there are any updates pertaining to the next untethered jailbreak, again, I will leave them there. And with that said, let's go ahead and and get straight into this video discussing iOS 8.4 and its all new release. So today in an expected and previously announced when confirming Apple Music release, Apple issued iOS 8.4 to the general public. Now currently, again, unlike its predecessor, iOS 8.4 cannot be jailbroken right now by way of Taiji in its current state. So if you have yet to jailbreak, also be sure to look for the on-screen annotation or card link to my untethered jailbreak tutorial for iOS 8.1.3 through 8.3. Furthermore, Apple's latest iteration of iOS is available in two flavors, as an OTA short for over-the-air update in the settings app, and as a traditional update via iTunes, which is an update method most veteran iOS users can appreciate. It's also the only route for ensuring a successful jailbreak on a jailbreakable firmware. However, it's of paramount importance that current iOS 8 through 8.3 jailbreak users avoid installing the latest update at all costs. In light of iOS 8.4's planned release to accommodate Apple Music, it's possible that the minor update doesn't address the vulnerabilities exploited by Taiji in their iOS 8.3 jailbreak, and that a simple tweak of their tool will be able to jailbreak iOS 8.4. As of now, though, it's not possible for any device to jailbreak 8.4 untethered when utilizing Taiji 2.1.3, the latest utility that I actually discussed in a dedicated video yesterday. So, so prior to delving into the topic of whether iOS 8.4 is jailbreakable, let's briefly discuss 8.4 as an update. Essentially, iOS 8.4 merely revamps the default music app, corrects several bugs pertaining to said app, and adds Apple Music and Beats One radio support to iOS. Apple Music is the company's take on digital music streaming, which was unveiled at WWDC or Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference this year. Again, I'll also have a link on the screen now to my coverage on Apple Music. Now, in light of iOS 8.4's relatively meager changelog, the firmware is hardly a crucial update, save for those interested in the aforementioned Apple Music service. Either way, though, jailbreakers should certainly avoid the firmware for now. So, to reiterate, while iOS 8.4 introduces the much-hyped Apple Music to iOS, the firmware isn't nearly as wide-reaching as far as the apps and system functions it affects as its predecessor, iOS 8.3, which introduced a revised emoji select method, diverse emoji skin tone options, Apple Pay for the China Union Pay Network, corrected an annoying spacebar issue, and more. Currently, those who restore to iOS 8.4 will effectively forfeit their jailbreak and be locked out of utilizing Taiji unless they either manually downgrade to iOS 8.3 by simply downloading the corresponding 8.3 IPSW, plugging their device into their computer, entering recovery mode, holding down Option or Alt on a Mac, or Shift on a Windows-based PC and clicking Restore, and then finally pointing iTunes at the IPSW as the signing window for the firmware is still open. Once Apple closes that, downgrades to 8.3 will no longer be possible, or until Taiji issues an update. But will iOS 8.4 itself be jailbroken? Looking back, two past scenarios come to mind that will hopefully be applicable where iOS 8.4 is concerned. Both 7.1.2 and iOS 8.1.2 were issued following the release of new jailbreak tools, being the original Pangu and Taiji jailbreaks respectively, neither of which patched said jailbreaks, and the Pangu jailbreak even went so far as to be unpatched from June until iOS 8's release 
in September. Now, Taiji was smart to wait so close to iOS 8.4's official release date prior to publicizing their utility, as Apple is locked into said date due to Apple Music's launch, and gave Apple minimal time to patch the utility. Whether Taiji will be able to jailbreak 8.4 or not, I'm going to keep you guys completely updated, and remember, when iOS 8.1.2 was jailbroken, it was first released on December 9th, and we received a new utility from Taiji on December 10th because the firmware didn't close the vulnerabilities exploited by Taiji. If you hope the exact same thing happens this time around with 8.4, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down below in the comment section if you're excited for Apple Music. And for those of you interested in winning a brand new iPad Air 2, just go to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, sign up. Once you do, come back here, again, rate this video up, and then leave just really any comment in the comment section. I'm also preparing my upcoming Apple Watch giveaway, so be sure to stay tuned for that because I'm going to be giving away another Apple Watch to one lucky viewer. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you want to be updated more often, just be sure to stay tuned. Remember, once iOS 8.4 is either jailbroken or we know more pertaining to its jailbreak status and whether it will be able to be jailbroken in the future, I will update you guys via annotations. So just be sure to look for those. And if you want to be notified more often, such as when I discuss iOS 8.4 and new jailbreaks, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Also click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.